Hey guys, Dylan here. So I managed to get down off Blackburn Mountain, but man, it wasn't pretty. The Sleeping King hit me with his giant sticky tongue, and I ended up sliding down the waterfall. Maybe I'm better at this than I thought. Then again, there was another driver who helped me, but I don't even know her name. The biggest bummer of all is that today's my big battle against Gordon, and I'm too banged up to go. What a disaster. Let's do it. Don't hold back. All right, one more round. Nah, I'm done. Your idea of practice is wearing me out. Hey, Gordon. I'm back with some news, but I don't think you're gonna like it. You better. You were gone long enough. So? What did you find out? You mean who has Dylan been training with? Well, that, my friend, is the million beetle question. And? I went to the farm. He's not at the barn. He's not in the house. I even checked out all the tea fields. There's no tractor and there's no Dylan. Really? My guess is he got scared and headed out of town. Didn't have the guts to fight. Hmm. No way! I saw his battle with Peter Argon, and he's definitely not the running away type. He came roaring into that arena like he had something to prove. And he went straight at Peter's Griffin Blade. No one has ever succeeded doing that. Then, right before the end, I think he was about to lay a Kibao clash on Peter. But that kid fell into the middle of the arena and Dylan shut it down to save him. Just because he's missing doesn't mean he's running. I agree. We'll find out soon enough. Welcome, Battle Blade fans, to the lovely middle of nowhere town of Cronkers. I'm Dan Beetleman, high above you in the Grasshopper Chopper, bringing you a bug's eye view of Tabletop Stadium. And now down to ground level and your host, Vic Ventura. Thank you, Dan. And thanks to all you viewers as we get set for this epic battle. We are just minutes away from the show now, and the fans here are hoping their local hero can do what he did last week when he battled Peter Argon to a flat drop. Dylan's going to have his work cut out for him, though, going up against Gordon. Get ready for some hot Battle Blade action. So far, so good. No one's recognized us. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Are you doing security, or are you Dylan's fans? As Cronkers officials, we're not allowed to take sides. That's right, Vic. We're here to make sure it's a fair and safe match and mean the best Beetle win. What? But your sign says, Go Cronkers, and I just heard you chanting Dylan's name. Oh, we're not crazy. We have to live here, you know. Besides, who can resist being part of this crowd? Indeed, and there's no question whose side they're on. Folks, let's make some noise so everybody watching on TV knows how we do it here in Cronkers. Tell me again where we have to wear these dumb disguises, Pop? Those mustaches itchy. When this crowd finds out Dylan's not coming, things are going to get ugly. But they can't blame it on Bob if I'm not Bob. Hey, everybody, it's Bob! Uh. And Ollie! Uh. How do you see today's match going, Bob? I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Now, if you'll excuse me. Good one, Dad. You've become big yeah. fan favorites. We have? Yeah. I mean, they have? Indeed. The fans keep writing in about your physique. And your wacky comments are almost as popular as your bizarre mustache. Then, uh, I'll give them what they want. You always do. So tell the viewers at home what to expect. Does local hero Dylan have a chance to win? Yeah. Absolutely. Excuse me. Uh, we're live. As small town cops, we know weird. And it would be really weird if Dylan didn't win. Isn't that right, race fans? No, you missed the point. Huh? You all act like winning is the only thing that matters. But it isn't. Let's remember, for every winner who gloriously defeats his opponent and gets a big shiny trophy, there has to be a loser, someone who gave it his best shot but lost and doesn't even get a platypus plush toy. It's not very nice. Huh? 
I have to admit, I've never thought of it that way. Winning is still important, but let's make it secondary. Excuse me. If winning isn't the main point of a Battle Blade contest, then why have a Battle Blade contest at all? Exactly. What if one of the contestants didn't even show up? That won't happen, but what if it did? I mean, what then? Ooh, it'd be bad. Disastrous. The crowd would go nuts on whoever was in charge. See, that's the part that doesn't work for me, Vic. What's really important here? Blaming who messed up? That's not the way I see it. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Good. So who cares about who covered up what, or who lied about someone's injury? Let's forget all that, and concentrate on the fact that the whole town here is in a beautiful place and enjoy it. Ah, <sighs> I get it. I get it. No, oh, for bug's sake, that was hard work. So now, when Dylan doesn't show up and there's no battle, at least there won't be a total bug riot. Hey, Dad. Hmm? I have an idea. Just a backup plan thing. Buy me a battle blade. Perfect, huh? What do you say? Welcome, sports fans. I'm your announcer, Johnny Nitrox, and it's time now to introduce our contestants. Are you ready? From up here high in the grasshopper chopper, I'm happy to report that I see the dust from our first driver. All right, folks. Let me introduce the challenger for today's exciting Battle Blade contest. Driving the White Tiger Blade, it's a living Battle Blade's legend, Gordon! crowd for a small town and now introducing the kid from Cronkers driving the dragon blade Dylan <laughs> yeah! All right! yeah! strange we should be hearing his engine by now but there's nothing <clears throat> the kid sure didn't seem like the type to run from a battle so where is he Sit tight. I'm sure he's on his way. We go live in 40 seconds, Johnny. What if he doesn't show? Dad, how about calling up those Blade Trio guys? Yeah. Uh, mm, I think they blocked my number. Uh, we're sunk. There must be something we can do. Come on, think. Hey, what if it rains? Let's do a rain dance. Uh, Network's on line three, Johnny. They want to know why we aren't live yet. Where's a rodeo clown when you need one? The crowd's getting impatient. Obviously, Dylan's a no-show. He may have gotten lucky once and beaten you, but he knows he can never pull that off twice. Hmm. I've got a feeling it's something else. And gentle beetles, the match is in the hands of the referee. Referee No Bones, would you please present your ruling? <clears throat> Rule 15C states that if both contestants are not present at match time, the match is a forfeit, and the driver who is present is the winner. By the power vested in me, I pronounce Gordon the winner of the Wait, rep, listen! <gasps> uh -huh. Uh -huh. There, I see his dust cloud! Dylan is here, folks! Wow! <laughs> we were hoping for a miracle, and now we've got one! Here we go. not Dylan. Folks, we have a blade, but it is not the Dragon Blade. Well, this is a surprise. 
can't believe what I'm seeing. Huh? That's the Phoenix Blade. Captain, what's the big deal? So we got a new blade. You don't get it. The Phoenix Blade disappeared mysteriously from the circuit years ago. Danny Dillon, crash that guy! Crash! Dillon, come on down and introduce your new wheels! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Well, driver, who until so recently was expected to be Dylan? Uh, who are you? That's my sister! Wow, check that out! That's one of the best-looking battle blades I've ever seen! Classic design, counter-rotating blade! I'm betting on her, Hubert. We can't play favorites. My name is Haley Ratchet. I know that you all were expecting Dylan, but since he's hurt, I'm gonna battle in his place. Holy cow! Well, it appears we will get to see some battle blading. Though this match might be a short one. <laughs> you sure you want to do this, Grasshopper? Yes, I'm sure. How long have you been driving battle blades, Haley? I started last night. What? Last, last night? night? <laughs> no offense, but a newbie doesn't really have a chance against me. Look, <gasps> no offense, but you don't know what you're talking about. Oh? <laughs> so let's find out who's right. <laughs> Don't do it! You're the only sister I have! You don't know what you're getting into! <sighs> I'll do it! You're a terrible driver! Listen, Haley, this is all my fault! I let you drive on the way up that mountain, and just because we didn't actually crash, now you think you can drive a battle blade! But we both know that without Dylan, the next best thing is me! Ollie! Step up and sit down! I know what I'm doing, and I know I can beat this guy! <laughs> Big talk. You should be careful when bragging. Tell you what, I'll warn you in advance. I'm going to unleash ten attacks. Withstand them all, and the match is yours. You mean it? We have a deal? Yeah, but you'll be sorry. We'll know soon enough. <clears throat> You've never seen this guy drive! How do you expect to handle ten of his attacks when you've never even seen one? Plus, this is the guy who sliced the rock! In order to cut granite, the machine's blade must be spinning at over a thousand revolutions per second. At that speed, the air blade will form, but just before making contact, he has to swiftly spin the battle blade to get the angle right. It's okay. Destiny is a phoenix egg dropped into a chicken coop. Huh? She's lost it. Here we go, folks! <laughs> All right! The battle blades are fired up and we're heading for some shredding. We are ready to rock! Time for referee No Bones to announce the start. <laughs> Pop, we're having a match after all. Pop? Pop, I talked to Haley, and I think she's got this. But what if she doesn't got it, Ollie? I'm scared something bad will happen to her, and it'll all be my fault. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this match has begun. Ready or not. You are in for it now. Whoa! Gordon has already enabled his White Tiger wave and the battle has barely begun! He's going for the quick knockout! It's a bold move, Johnny, and if it fails, what else has he got up his sleeve? That is, if Gordon even has sleeves! Whoa! He's showing his hand. It's too early. That might be true, if Gordon were going up against a normal opponent. But Haley is such a beginner. I doubt she'll survive his first strike. Short fight, then? Maybe I should get some popcorn now. Come on, Haley, you could do this. Here I come. <clears throat> Haley, look out! <laughs> Uh-oh! Instead of playing defense, Haley's driving right toward the doors of doom! <laughs> <laughs> Those are doors of doom, then Haley must have the key because she's headed straight in. Amazing! 
sensing she's still hanging in there. Like gum stuck under the desk, Johnny. She's heading for the edge. <laughs> Just in time. She survived the first attack. How'd she do that? She knows how to defend against the white tiger wave? Haley really ought to move, Johnny. That is not a good place to park. One down, nine to go. She survived the white tiger wave. Crap sure loves her, Johnny. Almost as much as they love me. And now our drivers are in position for the next round. I must admit I'm surprised. Yeah, me too. How'd she do that anyway? When he took off, she took off too instead of waiting for even a second. And so when they hit, Gordon's blade hadn't gotten up to full speed yet. That made the impact a lot less than it would have been. Brilliant. Yeah. And that's not all. Haley somehow figured out the angle while accelerating at full power and positioned her battle blade to hit precisely head on with Gordon. If she'd been off by even a fraction, she would have been thrown aside instantly by the white tiger wave. That may be true, or maybe it's just beginner's luck. No such thing in battle blading. Hmm. She was born to drive, unlike some. <laughs> Here comes round two. Second attack, and Gordon is all business. Business is great, Johnny, but he should really concentrate more on his driving. Oh, no, you don't. Both drivers are in high gear, spinning away from each other, and it's whipping up a cyclone here in the arena. Unusual weather we're having here today, Johnny. Both drivers are cranking at full speed now, with Gordon trying to outflank Haley in order to strike from the side, and Haley doing her best to avoid him. But she's just too fast for him to get a clean shot. And speed is one of the fastest things a driver can have. <laughs> Gordon dodges a shot from Haley. You're a tricky one. <laughs> Gramps, isn't it Tuesday? Isn't today the day I'm supposed to meet Gordon for our battle blade match? That's not for you to worry about. Just rest. That's what you need right now. Mm -hmm. Haley was here before. Where did she go, Gramps? Haley's at the arena battling Gordon. You sent Haley there instead of me? Why would you do that? Hmm. Don't go getting upset. You need rest. You've got to be kidding, Grams. She doesn't have any experience at battle blading. She can't possibly win, and she might get hurt. Wrong. You have not seen what I've seen. Experienced or not, Haley is actually your equal when it comes to driving. Huh? She was born with the same natural instincts and ability behind the wheel that you have. Okay. But she still doesn't have a blade to drive. Haley is driving the Phoenix blade that once belonged to your mother. It's just as good as your dragon blade. My mom's? Six down! That's six down! <laughs> Haley has turned away Gordon's attack six times! Can she keep up this awesome defense four more times? She's gonna fall one short. Huh? What do you mean? Gordon could have ended this at any time, but he's letting it play all the way out. If he wins too quickly, it's not as fun for everyone. Whoa! <laughs> Here it comes, folks, the seventh attack. It's starting to look like Haley may have Gordon's number. We'll see about that. Here goes. Ooh, a big hit. And they're locked onto each other now, neither one giving an inch. Huh. Okay, here 
quality driving from someone whose name I've never even heard. And what's the legendary Phoenix Blade doing here in Cronkers after being lost for more than 10 years? Haley! We're all behind you 100%! Except me! I'm behind you 200%! Haley! 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 Drivers are in position. If she can survive two more attacks, Haley is the winner. I can do it. I just have to stay alert and keep moving, and I can do it. You've had your fun, but now, my turn. <laughs> White Tiger Blade hits the brakes. Why is he slowing down instead of attacking? <laughs> A spin move! Gordon takes up position behind Haley. She's close to the edge! Game over. Now she's exposed! Gordon broadsides Haley, and now he's pushing her off the edge! Looks like it's all over for Haley. 